Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man, let me talk about D.L. Hughley, man. Um, Man, D.L. Hughley, man, is a disgusting, I mean, for real, he a disgusting, hating-ass nigga, man. And that's, that's just basically the bottom line. When I seen the comments, when they played snippets of what he said about Ice Cube on the, on the Breakfast Club, now, I didn't hear the whole... I didn't hear the whole segment, but I didn't need to hear the whole segment. I heard enough from him to just determine, dude is a whole bitch. Dude is a real bitch, and he a coon, and he a cornball. You know, it's amazing how, like I told you, I've been saying this for years since I've been on YouTube, and most of us know it. It's easy, like I said, to divide the black community. It's easy. Whether we agree with Ice Cube's stance or not, we should just let it, let him like execute his plan, or at least you know what I'm saying. See what he's trying to do before we just say, "Oh man!" But now, what's the, what's been going on? The Democrats, like I said, they really don't have a plan or a strategy, except well, anybody is better than Donald Trump. That's the only strategy. But they haven't promised us black folks nothing. Nothing that's gone specifically help us benefit. But like I say, everybody else can get stuff that benefit them. The Hispanics can get stuff that benefit them. The gays can get stuff that benefit, but not the blacks. We got to get put in the category with everybody based off uh, statistics. Certain statistics, that is. Certain numbers, that is. But when I heard D.L. Hughley maliciously attacking Ice Cube, saying he wasn't qualified and all this kind of stuff, that I, I was just, it made me sick to my stomach. Real talk. Blood was tripping. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I'm from Northern California, so I ain't no blood. Okay? When we say blood in Northern California, we mean family. We mean kin folks. We don't mean no gang shit. Town business is not a blood. I'm an East Oakland murder dub, nigga. But nevertheless, nevertheless, let's let's get back to basics. Cause I know somebody, I don't I, I wanna dispel that. I just wanna dispel that before that even get out of hand. No, I'm not. But nevertheless, DL Hughley was just hating. Like I said, I would expect that from you know, Caucasian person or a non-black or Simon Sanders. I mean, excuse me, Simone Sanders. Since she has such a low, uh, a, a low rated opinion of black men, which I'm going to talk about that too. And I heard, I heard it on the breakfast club. Like I said, I didn't even have to hear the whole segment to determine what DL Hughley was doing. Now, for those who don't know, Ice Cube worked with Gavin Newsom to get some of these laws passed. I think he played a role in getting that law passed to where companies can't discriminate against black women because of certain hairstyles. Now you're seeing a lot of black black women, a lot of sisters wearing their hair cut low, wearing braids, wearing dreads, and that's that's a beautiful thing. Some of them abandoning the wigs and the and the weaves and all that stuff. Which look. I'm going to talk about that later on. I'm going to talk about the Aisha Curry thing. That's a, a subject for another video. That video is probably coming Friday or maybe tomorrow. I'll talk about the Aisha Curry thing. But nevertheless, he uh, worked with Gavin Newsom to get that, that law passed in California where you had all these colleges taking advantage of primarily these young brothers you know, making money off their livelihood, selling t-shirts, apparel, where basically the colleges was making all the money, but the brothers wasn't. And where, like, if I took a college student to McDonald's and bought him a cheeseburger, they could possibly kick him out of school. Which I think is, is stupid. So, you know, Gavin Newsom signed that bill into law. And... Now the reports are coming out that Ice Cube played a role in some of these 
laws getting passed because he t spoke to Gavin Newsom. Real talk. And then also Ice Cube works with Dr. Claude Anderson. And in case you guys don't know, y'all do know Ice Cube got like a degree in engineering. Right? Y'all do know that, right? That's why Ice Cube is one of the, the greatest writers as far as uh, rapping ever goes. Ice Cube got one of the nastiest pens in, in hip hop history. Real talk. So, you know, but to hear D.L. Hughley just attack him the way he did, you don't even see him attack Charles Barkley the way, I mean, he basically was saying that Ice Cube wasn't smart enough to send a contract talking about, he went to talking about a platinum contract for black America, he made a reference to, the I think spinners and, and, and rims and all that kind of stuff, like I said D.L. Hughley is a real coon I mean, that dude is like, for real it's something that I want to say so bad about him, but I'm, I'm going to be cool. I'm not going to stoop to that level. I'm not going to stoop to that level. But real talk, give him something I wanted to say so bad. Like I say, that dude needs to shut the fuck up. Like I said, who is you to say or determine whether somebody is smart enough or qualified? Oh, so let me get this straight. Ice Cube ain't qualified to talk to Donald Trump or Joe Biden, but Cardi B is. Really? Really? Enough said, man. Let me let me end this video, man. I'm gone, man. Drop the mic.